Uh, two questions about uh, the first one about being on top of the game and the second one, the role of philanthropist. Uh, I think what's fascinating about this game is that you really are never on top of it. You learn every day. Um, just to give you a specific example about us, we were very arrogant. I mean, we started uh, 2000. We have uh, 170 clinics serving uh, 3 million people in northern Mozambique. So we kind of feel like we knew almost everything that we had to do. We combined private and public and private activities and etc. And then suddenly my father had a stroke and I went to Cameroon to take care of him and I discovered something that we actually never thought about in Village Ridge. It's urban poverty. I mean, for a long time we've been assuming that by doing everything we're doing in rural areas, we will be solving, saving the world. But the truth is that now people with higher aspirations are moving away from the villages into the urban areas and ending into the slums and the poverty level in urban slums is as bad as in the rural areas, something that our model totally missed. So it is always something that we learn as we do our work. And every day we challenge, and if you're humble enough to recognize your limits, you can only get better. Uh, our hope is that uh, the model that we're developing in Mozambique will be refined and uh, replicated in several countries. We have a, a grant from the Skoll Foundation to take it to two, three countries by 2008. We hope that we'll take it to uh, many more countries after that. But uh, it's critical uh, for efforts like the one we're involved in to succeed, to have a new kind of philanthropist. And we've been fortunate to, to, to encounter s several of them, to, be, to use a pompous term, enlightened philanthropists is what we need now. People who are patient, people who understand that her and I, we just have ideas and we will be making mistakes. We're trying to figure it out, we're doing our best, but it's likely that we will fail sometimes. So we want philanthropists who are not simply providing the funding, but are helping us build our own capacity, are connecting us, and uh, are pushing us to the limit. That's why a forum like the GPC is also very interesting for us. We, 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 we develop through dialogue, by exchanging ideas, by talking about what we do, we, we're doing and getting feedback from you you let areas of interest, but also trying to see how we can connect seemingly and connect in non-connected areas. So a new type of philanthropist is needed, as far as I'm, I'm, I, could, I could tell, for effort like ours to succeed.